Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> this is your man Swamba once again. I am on location at home. I am in my dog kennels as you can see. Um, but I want to show you something a little bit different today. I am not fishing, I'm not hunting, I'm not gardening. I'm doing some dog maintenance and I want to introduce y'all to some of my puppies. One litter of four, another litter of four, and another litter of seven. Um, one litter was born on May 28th, which is my dad's birthday. Another two more litters were born on May 30th, um, two days later. So check out my puppies, y'all. This is the litter of seven, born on May the 30th. All right. They're now getting around. They are not quite four weeks. Sunday they'll be four weeks. Um, and I'm gonna show you the other litter here shortly, but they are moving around fine. All is well. She kept all seven. I lost no puppies in this heat. I have to do this early in the morning, guys, because it gets so hot in Texas. It's gonna be 99 degrees, degrees today. So I have extra protection from the heat. I know the sun in the afternoon comes from this side. I have drum fans that blow a lot of air through here. So of course, I um, hope you all see. These dogs are well taken care of. This is the set that was born on the 28th of May. Um, they're doing well also. As you've noticed, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but I had to kennel proof my, my pens. So I had to come back with this wire here because puppies can get their heads stuck through this stuff. So you don't want to lose a puppy. It's, out, it's hot out here and they stick the head through this stuff when they start moving around. Now you got a puppy that's stuck. So you always have to, out, all the way around, I puppy proof my pen because I don't want an issue later on, all right? So yes, that's that group of puppies. They are also doing well. I like this age because they get they get their character and they start playing and wrestling and as old people say being rambunctious. So this is what they did. This is the other set that was born on the 20 on the 30th of May. Um this set had two boys, two girls. I'm sorry, this set had three boys, one girl, and the other set I showed you with the seven had four girls, three boys, so a total of 15 puppies, y'all. So of course, this is diamond set that you're looking at now. This is mocha set. And the first set, set that I showed you was my dog Boss's set. So of course, all of them are moving around, doing well. And we have collars on some of them because some of them are spoken for. The ones that do not have collars, they don't, they're not spoken for. So as you can see, these pups also have a drum fan. So I believe in drum fans. To keep it cool they also have protection from the sun extra protection from the sun so um today is the day that these puppies mocha's puppies uh, are dewormed again they are four weeks old today they were born on a friday today is a friday so we have to deworm them so we're gonna show y'all that hope y'all can see i know the sun is kind of bright today but from right to left that's mocha that's bossy that's diamond all right these are the mothers <clears throat> right now I have the males and one more female. They're away in training. So I try to deal with just the bummers and puppies when I have them because they need time, a lot of time to be dedicated to them until they get of age to get out of here at eight weeks old. So I try my best to reduce my burden and um, get those dogs all the time they need. Puppies all the time they need. Of course, Miles is out here with me this morning. We got to deworm these pups today. Um, so but all are doing well today is the first feeding of these puppies um of food other than milk so i try to start the weaning process by four weeks because um 
the, the quicker you get those puppies weaned, the quicker the mothers recover. We're starting with this pedigree puppy, lamb and rice, um, and get these, these puppies going. So y'all stay tuned, we're gonna show y'all how they react to this. Here you go. This is the first time they've ever experienced food. So let's put them, let's put them at the pan. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna start with more blue. Let's start with red. And guess what? <clears throat> they figured out that quick what food is. This is a puppy pan because what will happen is they'll end up sticking their feet in if you put a regular pan. So they quickly fi figured out what food is. So what I normally do is when I start feeding them every day, I'll start whistling and they'll know I'm coming to put food out. Diamonds puppies, you're gonna see how they react to food. Oh, wow. They, no problem, right? One more. They don't know what's going on yet. When I say immediate, I mean immediate. Okay, guys, look, I have a digital scale here. This is how I weigh my puppies because when you deworm puppies, you need to do it by their weight and guessing is not good enough for me. You need to know exactly what you're doing. But before we do that, what I wanna let you know is, um, when you have puppies that have an issue um, taken to food and all that, and they're a little smaller than others, then what you can do is give them this, what they call NutriCal. It's high calorie nutrition, nutritional gel. I think just the fingertip of this gel on your finger on their tongue is like a thousand calories. So it sustains them. Um, this, this scale actually opens up if you needed to but you can also put something on here and you can set this back to zero so if you need to put a plate on here you can also um i i deworm my puppies with nemex but this nemex um uh, is nemex is super expensive so this is the same thing in generic brand and of course what you need to do is follow the instructions. So the instructions pretty much say they deserve five milliliters per 10 pounds. So if a dog weighs less than 10 pounds, what you need to do is find out how much the dog weighs and divide it out. All right, this is the first female we're gonna weigh. Hopefully she'll sit still long enough to get a good weight on her. All right, she is 2.8 pounds. She almost weighs three pounds, all right. So she gets about, two. So if you can see this, what I normally do is just open the mouth, stick it in. A little bit of time, you won't let them drink because they will spit it back out. And that's it. Thankfully, this stuff tastes good, so they're good to go. All right. Surprise, Bossy! All right. As you Surprise, see, Mocha's puppies took to feed very Surprise. quickly, too. Um, so I have to Surprise. mention this. Um, Y'all got to look at Casey. Casey is here visiting Bossy from Virginia surprises. and he loves dogs too. That's my nephew. So he he loves dogs and puppies. So. But yeah, they they eat it up. I think they like lamb and rice. Alright, just so you guys know, I wanted to show you this. This is called Spartan Mosquito Eradicator. If you have problems with mosquitoes at your house, two of these tubes covers an acre for 90 days. The whole thing is um, you literally fill to this line with water. It has, I know yeast in it, salt. It's some other stuff I don't know, 
but what happens is and you know this is entirely too much information about mosquitoes but thank god you have to know your enemy to defeat them the males i believe do not bite you only the females do so what happens is they go into this because they're attracted to us by our carbon dioxide so this thing gives off carbon dioxide with the yeast fermentation whatever whatever the long story short it works all right so i put this up and you will notice a great reduction in the mosquitoes so it's good for you and your pets not to be not to have a lot of mosquitoes around all right spartan mosquito eradicator all right y'all mocha's back in here with our puppies now um they have cleaned the plate uh diamond is back in here as you can see um her puppies have eaten it's time and guess what surprises. they have Both. fallen asleep time for say hello casey hello all right so look that's what happens they eat and sleep to put it mildly to my mildly to put it mildly to my mildly casey loves dogs all right all right and as you see with bossing Boston's puppies are doing the same thing. They have eaten and now they're relaxing. So that's the thing. All right, so we're gonna turn on these fans now because it's now um, probably close to eight o'clock. So we're gonna turn on these fans before the heat gets up. It's probably hard to hear me now, but I'm trying to talk as loud as possible. With these fans going, it makes it at least 15 degrees cooler with the fans and this extra shade i actually have a regular top on top but i have a heavy duty black top on the side that the sun comes on on the afternoon which is the hottest sun in texas so i have that on both my kennels and again all the kennels are puppet proof so we don't have any accidents or incidents with our puppies so they have extra protection from the heat um, and that's the way to do it to me also have another pin here with another fan same thing they get they get air what i like about um them being out having the ability to get out when they get cold enough they can go in the house when they warm they can stay out i do like the fact that this is just a barrier but it also can allow air to come through you definitely want air to come through you definitely want air to come through so they can get all the air they want all right so thank y'all so much for watching and we'll be back with you. All right, Casey, tell everybody bye. Tell everybody bye. All right.